We are counting down to Christmas, getting ready to kick off our 12 days of cookies. And this year, it's all about sending those baked treats to loved ones who you can't be with in person. Becky Worley joins us with a story we first saw in the Wall Street Journal, the secret to successfully mailing cookies. Becky, good morning. Good morning, Robin. Opening a tin of freshly baked cookies makes you feel loved. Opening a tin of cookie crumbs and broken pieces, not so much. So I set to baking and packing to avoid this horrific fate. Ah, the smell of freshly baked cookies. But if you can't hand deliver them to the ones you love, this is the next best thing. But getting them to arrive in the same shape, that's a bit of an art. Food gurus Gabriella Gersheron and Julia Collin Davison give us their best tips. For example, choose a cookie that's solid, not too delicate, like shortbreads or drop cookies. Avoid anything too thin or crumbly, and avoid icing. Anytime you ship food, there are some things you have to file, some guidelines to make sure your food gets there in good shape. My kids and I tried these sugar cookies, <laughs> peppermint bark brownies, and something kind of fancy, pistachio pinwheels. It's very important to let them cool completely. You don't want them steaming up inside of the bag or the wrapper that you're going to be placing them in. Now for the packing. Either use plastic bags or go decorative. Choose a good tin or a box. These are some cute ones I found at the supermarket. Not only are these really festive, but they're a physical barrier to prevent your cookies from getting crushed. Then place the box in a bigger box with lots of padding. The big splurge for this gift should be for fast shipping so the cookies don't get stale in transit. So off these go to the GMA studios. Will they arrive in one piece? Fingers crossed. It would be sweet if they made it to you whole. Guys, open up those tins of cookies. All right. Don't sugarcoat it. Okay. How'd we do? All right. Ooh, okay. Here we oh go. My God. Perfect. One broken cookie for me. One broken? That's yeah, but bad. I couldn't eat the whole thing in one bite anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but Becky, I noticed you put joke. the you put the cookies in separate boxes. Is there a strategy to that? Yeah, there is. Uh, the brownies, which were proudly made by my son Finn Very for good. you, they have pepperminty bark on them. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. um, that peppermint can be strong and it could flavor the milder sugar cookies or, you know, this is true of ginger snaps or mm. anything with strong flavoring, really so good. keep those separate. Can't break so the mostly brownie. intact and, and pretty tasty? Really Very good. good. Thank you. Okay. Kudos to the kids. Whew. I know. Good Baked job there. With love. Mm. I'm glad they made it. <laughs> well, now, what's in this brownie again? <laughs> Becky, what's it? Uh, it's got peppermint bark oh, on it. Oh, that's you, what I'm tasting. Are you sharing? Just going to hop No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.